Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of s if we have s plus 7 whole cubed is equals to 27 and we solve this problem for all the values of s. And you see here this equation is cubic equation because its highest exponent is 3. So this means that this equation has 3 roots. So we need to find all that 3 roots of this equation. So uh, here for this we need to focus uh, into the right hand side and in the right hand side we have this is 27 and we uh, write 27 into the prime factors form and we know about that the prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed. And further in the next step here we move this 3 cubed from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as s plus 7 cubed minus 3 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. So further in the next step we need to use here uh, the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. And you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. So these are the two values of a and b. And now here uh, we need to substitute both of these two values of a and b into the below formula. So according to this formula we write this equation as here the first factor is a minus b the value of a is s plus 7 minus the value of b is 3 into this is again a square the value of a is s plus 7 square plus a b so here our a is s plus 7 and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here uh, further we need uh, more simplifications for this we just add or subtract the like terms and we have this is s plus 7 minus 3 becomes 4 into uh, this is uh, s plus 7 whole square. So here uh, we just apply the nice square identity you know about that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. You see here this is our a and this is our b. So according to this rule we write here this expression as uh, so this will be written as s square plus 2 times of a b so here our a is s and b is 7 plus b square so b is 7 square plus we multiply 3 on both of these values it will become 3 s plus 3 times of this 7 becomes 21 plus this 3 square becomes here 9 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So after that here we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is s plus 4 into uh, here we have this is s square plus 2 times of 7 becomes 14 s plus this 7 square becomes 49 plus this is 3 s and plus 21 plus 9 becomes here 30 and this whole equation is equals to 0. And now here in the next step we uh, need more uh, uh, simplification of this term. Uh, and here again we add or subtract the like terms. So we have this is s square plus this is 14 s plus 3 s becomes here 17 s and 49 plus 30 becomes here 79 and this whole equation is equals to 0. Further in the next step uh, we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write s plus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write s square plus 17 s plus 79 is equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the value of s is equals to minus 4. So this is the our first real root of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. 
and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method is factorization method second one is completing square method and third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here we just use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation coefficient of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to 17 and c is equals to 79 so here we state the quadratic formula as s is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is our quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of a b and c here so we have the value of b is 17 when we put it here it will becomes minus 17 plus minus square root of b square so b is 17 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 79 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so here we need more simplifications and it will be written as mm, this will becomes minus 17 plus minus square root of this is 17 square and we know about that 17 square becomes 289 minus this is 4 times of 79 4 times of 79 becomes 316 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 and 2 times of 1 is equals to 2 and further in the next step we have this is minus 17 plus minus square root of 289 minus 316 is equals to minus 27 and it is divided by 2 and in the next step we need more simplification so here first we apply square root separately on negative term and 27 so after separation of the square root it will be written as square root of 27 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and here we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 17 plus minus here we know that or we rewrite this 27 as 9 multiplied by 3 and we know about that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so we have uh, this case is implies that s is equals to minus 17 plus minus here we know that a square root of 9 becomes here 3 times of square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So uh, these are the uh, two complex roots of the given equation. So it means that uh, we have there are three roots of the given equations in which these two roots are complex roots and uh, s is equals to minus 4 be the one real root of the given equation so these are the three roots of the given equation which we get here and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos